Looks like we took a nap out here in the middle of nowhere. Oops. Back. Let's see what happened because of that. We took a nap at the docks. We need to go over here to the Red Rivers. I think last time we played, we cleaned up our mess over here. We, <laughs> we kind of fucked things up in a bad way. Uh, let's see. So let's go through everything that happened in the last playthrough of this game. Uh, the docks are in, um, the docks are just messed up in general. The docks are just so incredibly fucked up because Sean Hampton was a vampire and he told us, he told us that he would be a good boy. Turns out he's not a good boy. And he turned his little, um, his little refuge into a vampire haven. And he turned so many people into vampires. Uh, Dyson Delaney turned into a vampire. Uh, Lottie Paxton turned into a vampire. We know she, where she's at. She's level 30 and she's fucking hard as hell to beat. Giselle decided to work for the Gowen, the, the Gowen, uh, the, the, the vampire hunter guys. So, you know, we had to kill her because she was about to kill us. And it's in critical condition because everybody's sick from fatigue. So one, two, three, four. I need at least four cures for fatigue. She's got like another sickness that I don't know. Plus I haven't met her yet. So we're going to go back to the docks and figure out what's going on with her. Um, everybody's fairly healthy at Pembroke. It looks like Pippa caught the cold, so we'll have to cure her. Also, we still don't have a treatment. We have a treatment for migraines, but we don't actually know how to fix it. Like, actually how to, like, brew it ourselves. So we're going to try to find him and cure his migraine, because I think I still have it. Um, same thing happened out here. Dorothy Crane turned into a vampire after she tried to save a poor vampire victim. Uh, we helped her out. But, you know, she she turned, so we had to kill her. Uh, Darius Petrescu, Petrescu, we embraced him because he was helping her and he was a loose end, so we killed him. We also killed Cadigan because he's just an asshole, so. And we still haven't met anybody here at Weston. So let's let's go down the line and actually figure out how many fatigues we need. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Plus, I'm going to say six just in case because we might need it for her. Six, one cure for cold, one cure for migraine, seven, eight, we need eight fatigue, and then one, two, and three cures for colds. Okay, so let's do that. Let's, let's start making these things. Because we don't want the, we don't want the things to go too far. Like, it's already spiraling out of control. We might as well try to keep people, everybody, like, healthy. So I think the more people get sick, the more, um... The more likely they're going to turn into vampires. And we don't want that. So we need three cures for colds. You know, I'm going to make one more just in case. So we do have the treatment for headaches, but we don't actually know how to make it. Uh, bronchitis, pneumonia... Alright, cool. Let's get going. Let's get going. Um, Jesus Christ, we really destroyed this place. All right, so where are we? Are you sick? Let's see. No, you're healthy. Oh, you have fatigue. Okay, so let's cure her. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, <clears throat> Doctor Reed. What do you want? I'm gonna cure you. Offer you my medical help, Miss Cox. Giving out for free. You'd make a poor businessman, Dr. Reed. How many times have I cured her? Perhaps I would. Please, take this. You will feel better. Thank you. But don't expect me to owe you anything. Well, no, I don't Goodbye, care about you. Goodbye, Cox. I would like to kill you. All right, let's make sure, let's keep going in down the line, figuring out who else needs to be cured. Tom Watts, Sabrina, they're fine. I want to make sure that she stays healthy. I like her. Let's see. Okay, you have fatigue. Good evening, sir. I'm amazed you made it back to the docks alone. Good, Good for you. you. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. More to the point, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. We and helped I you last am time. Archer Woodbead. Please excuse my assertiveness. I often forget I'm just an old prune. 
Well, you need my medical attention. Let me help you, you old prune. Also, I love yes. how his textures hasn't popped the in. The spirit is willing, but the flesh, well, you know. <laughs> you can give him his medicine. Is immune to disease. There's no need to be ashamed of that. Well, thank you, doctor. Now maybe I'll live another day or two. <laughs> I like how his textures haven't really popped in. Uh, any news about Sean Do you Hampton? Have any recent news on Sean Hampton's shelter? I read that given enough time, any intention, no matter how good, can rot and sour. And that's what it happened. If half the things I've heard about this place are true, that theory is soundly proven. Yep, it definitely did. Um, I don't think we've ever actually talked to him. What so let's let's talk to him. Part of town. People used to feel safe around here. They had the gangs protecting them. Now all they do is bicker and plot against one another. Hmm. Are you missing the good old days? Missing the good old days, are you not? Trust me, son. The longer you live, the less meaning your existence will have. You need to remember the days you still had beliefs. And what about what the about gangs? The gangs. Back in my day, people trusted the wet boot boys. No, we you don't trust the, the wet boot boys. Families. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of greedy fuckers. You were a gang member. I was their leader for a time, believe it or not. Now these bastards act like I'm nothing. Not one of them. This guy I used to be the ringleader to the wet boot boys? Oh my goodness. If you were such a respected figure, surely you have many interesting stories about this part of town. You bet I do, but make no mistake. I'm no rat, sir. Some secrets are best left buried. Hmm. This guy was a wet boot boy. This is like blowing my mind. Um... Do you still know anyone from the old days? I mean, most of them are dead. I still give Miss Gillingham salutations. Oh, salutations! She remember me? She did once like me. Boy, <laughs> she was a beauty back then. Oh no, she it sounds like she has dementia or Alzheimer's. Any remarkable new faces? Or maybe he's just Nobody. changed so well, much. There's that boy Rufus the Curse. I like him, despite the reputation he's made since his parents died. Poor little bastard. Hmm. Who would you trust around here? The owner of the turquoise turtle's a decent fella. Wet boot boys, eat him. <laughs> Sean Hampton's all right, too. Don't particularly share his religious views. He's quite devout, if you catch my meaning. Well, Sean Hampton's dead, so... I'm sure a district as colorful as the docks must have plenty of stories about strange visitors and creepy characters. So, you want me to talk about the sewer dog, don't you? If sewer dog's dead. Know, I killed him. The sewer dog is a bitch. Appropriately named. An old woman dressed in rags. <gasps> she has That's old lady Bridget. Despite her ugliness, I saw her once. Scared the life out of me. That's old Bridget. That's old Bridget. Tell me about the wet boot boys. Tell me about the wet boot boys, Archer. I want to know more. We were there for the families and each other. It was us against the world. We were vicious, tough, even cruel. But we were united. You sound like you were some kind of radical union member. Yes, nowadays the communists and gangs squabble over pointless territory. Sounds stupid when you say it out loud. Hmm. Tell me everything you know about the guard of Prewen. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the guard, then? This guard of Prewen is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Preying on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. So, I can't remember who his son is. Um, can't really remember who his son is. But I know that his son decided... Oh! I think... I think he wanted to be a wet boot boy? I can't remember. It's been a while. The Turkish turtle sounds absolutely wonderful. It actually is a really nice little bar in this place. Why it's a really nice really little pub. Join the guard of Prewen? If I believed in a higher power, I'd see this as punishment for my own sins. I deserve it for all the young men I enlisted back in the day. So why did he join? You don't believe in God, though, do you, Mr. Woodbeat? So why did he join? Now I think about it. Andrew joined the guard, not to defy me, but to follow in my footsteps, to make me proud. Mm. 
So your son has left you nothing to explain his actions? No letter or message? Not even a note. I'm a proud man, Dr. Reed. But I would <laughs> kneel and pray if I thought it would give me my Andrew back. Hmm. You wonder if his blood tastes like plums? Gross. Looks like we like finished all of his stuff. We could easily mesmerize him and take a 3,000 blood quality. I, I've been killing a lot of people, though. I should Have be more conscious about so who I kill. Bitter. It's not bitterness. It's poorly masked disgust. When everything turns to shit, we all have to eat a spoon or two. Um, old people always complain. <laughs> True. These are difficult times. Things will be better in the future. Things will be better in the future. As a practitioner, I believe science will provide a new standard of welfare. It's just a matter of time. I'd like to believe you, Doctor. But recently, all science has been good for is mustard gas and machine guns. But what about social progress? What about women getting the right to vote? Things can change for the better. I've never voted, not once. And my wife, God rest her soul, she was too busy taking care of the kids to vote. Well, then that's the reason why things hasn't changed. Is because you refuse to Goodbye, actually enact sir. and doing something about it. Good God. Okay. Well, he's cured. All right. Um, Stella Fishburn still needs to be cured. And she's over here. I like Stella. She was cute. She's that cute old lady that actually had a really nice clean house. Compared to everybody else's crap. Rufus. Let's see. So he's healthy. We need to talk to Stella. <clears throat> Good evening, Mrs. Fishburn. May I come in, please? Of course. Dr. Reed. I'm not sure the epidemic is what worries me. Oh, she's got the cutest Fishburne. little house ever. What it's can so I do adorable. For you, Dr. Reed? I'm gonna cure you! Mrs. Fishburne, are you in need of any medical assistance? I am afraid. I am, Doctor. I don't feel well at all. Well then, here's your medicine! Then let me give you a prescription. I thank you for your generosity, sir. It's something this part of town truly needs. Let's get you out of a... Uh... Let's make sure that you don't Goodbye, turn into a vampire. Take care of yourself. You're more of a coke blood person yourself? Ooh, that sounds sugary. That sounds like too much sugar. All right, so we're gonna cure everybody real fast. So I know there's more people here that needs to be cured. All right, so that's, his, that's her son. Didn't we meet somebody like in an alleyway? I'm trying to remember where we met that one dude at. Let's go this way. Like we took a wrong turn and next thing you know we're at like a different docks. Yeah, there you go, the merchant. So there's a merchant here. Okay, so let's go this way. Can I cut through here? Oh, hi. Yeah, just no. No, just 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 fight each other, okay? Fight each other, please. Oh god. Goodness. Goodness. Drink. Drink! Ah. Yeah, that's right. Why don't you fight each other? Fight each other! Right, you fucking have your heart explode while I take care of this fucking beast. There we go. Jesus. Ah. That was intense. All right, so that guy died? Oh, he had a friend that died next to him. Oh, okay. So not only did that one dude explode, but his friend died because of the explosion. Great. That's, that's just great. That's just great. Are we a vampire? Yes, we are a vampire. And we're hunting other vampires. 
we're basically we're trying to keep we're a vampire doctor and we're trying to keep this place from actually like going to shit all right so I obviously took a wrong turn somewhere no go back this way let's go back this way ah here you go here's the door sweet Bunch of raddies. So we should probably heal ourselves. Oh. How's it going? There we go. Get dead. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff! Alright. God. I just want to get to this merchant. It's like this way? Let's go up here. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's like a dead lady up here. Just take all of her stuff, I guess. There we go. Take her shillings, take her things. Her aluminum powders. Interesting. It's like a bar? With dead people in it? I'm guessing skulls. Give me that. Give me that. Let's see. Give me that. There we go. Don't eat the old man because he owned up to his mistakes. Yeah, that's true. We're, we're not gonna, like, just eat everybody. We're gonna be really smart about it. Ah, there he is. We found him. We, we talked to this guy briefly, but we didn't have an actual, like, conversation with him. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. Young man, do you require medical attention? <laughs> I don't like asking for help. I, I don't you don't have to call me, young man. Either. Young man, do you require your medical attention? There's no shame in asking for help, especially when you are in desperate need of it. Here, take this. You should recover in no time. Thank you. I suppose... That's right. See, we never actually had a conversation about this with this guy. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I heard he had a scam of his own. A cult or something. Yeah, it was it was pretty much a cult. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I Damn, no Dr. Reed is just being rude. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. And what should I do then, sir? Should I join the wet boot boys like so many others? Dr. Reed. No thanks. Starting be a bad starting than a dead fights. gang member. All right. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Miss Gillingham smiles and says kind words, but I know she's lost her marbles, especially since her son died. Who's Tell this me one? about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. The poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but she has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. It's not her fault that she's crazy. How it's called Alzheimer's. I don't suppose you know what happened to her son. Jack! Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't know him well, but I heard he was a nice enough chap. Hmm. His old ma still thinks he's around. All right, so... Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but, but he's I'm dead. not a beggar. Not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm gonna make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like kicking Show myself for uh, letting Sean Martin Hampton go, because like I could have, ooh, I could have saved everybody. Instead, everything's just ruined. Music box. Sure, it's by this and by that. And then everything else. Probably don't need it. Uh, what did we get? Did we. 
Is it fair to say that this kid stole stuff? Music box. My dear Jack, I write this letter as long as I have the strength and the will. Not that I have something to hide or to fear, except perhaps to forget what I want to tell you. I always knew you would be someone important, someone good and nice. I knew since you were a child. When you preferred to read books rather than going to play outside. I knew it when you helped me carry groceries before you went to school and cleaned the house when you, after you came back. I'm proud of you, my son. Not only were you because not only because I'm your mother, but also because you deal so well with everything around you. I'm sorry I have recently become a, such a burden to you. Never forget, I love you. I hope you'll never forgive me. Even yet. Oh, that's sweet. That's so sweet. So there's also something about skulls. Hammer club, vampire factions, and skulls. Vampire and the guard will never have common interests? Never. Not as long as I live. Not after I die and pass the touch to another leader. I know some of us have witnessed a strange and huge vampire hunting down skulls, just like we do. He is well-dressed and seemed to speak eloquently. But don't be fooled. If this unknown lynch and his friends seem to hate skulls as much as we do, some others offer them safe heaven in exchange for obedience. Scouts in the North has reported that strange ceremonies occur in the secluded forest of Scotland. Ceremonies of blood and human sacrifice to old pagan gods. They may be adversaries to the London vampires, but none of these leech factions could be our allies. All vampires must be destroyed and no alliance will be made between them and us. From the Adversary by Kendall Stone, founder of the Guard of Pruin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, we got some interesting stuff from him. So he's recovering. What's in here? Is this where the uh, crazy lady Good lives? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Oh. May I come in? I already took my medication, Doctor. Uh, but thank you. I'm sorry. Your medication? Have we met before? Don't tease me like that, Jack. Sorry. What? Let me in! I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, Doctor. You... you are a doctor, yes? Yes, let me in. Let me in. You like how this game has consequences for choices made? Oh, Benny, I know, and I'm really, like, I'm so angry at how things have happened so far. Try so hard to be a good person, and then people so, just turn into vampires. What brings you back here? I heard whispers you had a job at that fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Oh. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. Oh. She's I'm so very cute. Happy to see you again. Do you require medical attention, Miss? I'm glad you asked, Doctor Tippett. I must confess I haven't felt that well of late. What does she have? She's a migraine. I don't have any migraine. I'll see you later. Okay. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I've never heard that name before, I'm afraid. Okay. Um. Is anyone taking is care anyone of you? taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. I would never say that to him, of course. Of course, of course. What can you tell me about this part of town? Oh, no. I don't gossip. That would be most unbecoming of a lady such as myself. I'm sure you've gossiped before. Who are the more influential figures on the Suzanne, welcome. Well, I heard about welcome some to the terrible stream. illness going around. I would say in that case that it's you, Dr. Tippett. Oh, my God. She is, she is so, so out of it. Enid, have you really no idea what happened to your son? No idea at all. I've not seen Jack for so long. I lose track of time. Has something bad happened to him? Jack takes good care of you. Jack is dead. He'll come back. He takes good care Jack of you. Jack takes good care of you, Miss Gillingham. He does Aww. indeed. My Jack is the best son the mother could ask his son, for. Her son is dead. I don't want to tell her that his son is tell dead. Me, Enid, why do you feel guilty about your son? I know I'm a burden to my Jack. I know my mind and my thoughts are drifting away. I'm so sorry. I can't help it. This is not your doing, Miss Gillingham. You do not have to apologize for your condition. Of course I don't, Doctor. 
I've done nothing wrong, I swear it. What exactly are we talking about here? Oh, she's so sad. Goodbye, Miss Gillian. Oh, she's so sad. I love her. I love her so much I'm gonna steal from her. Let's see, let's, let's look around. Is there anything else in here? Ooh. Rodney, I just heard what happened tonight. I ran to your house, but you were already gone. So now I'm writing this note. Is it true you killed him? I can't believe it. Why? What happened? I really need to know. Please find a way to come attack me when you receive this message. Since I know you can be very cautious and to prove to you this is not a trap, let's use code when we meet. I'll whistle my name, Jack, in Morse code, and you'll whistle yours, okay? This way, you'll know it's really me. For now, it's a good thing you are hiding. The wet boot boys are all over the neighborhood claiming they'll punish the man who murdered one of them. I'm sure we can make an arrangement to settle things once the heat's died down. Oh shit. Gotta whistle his name in Morse. How, how, how do you do that? She's got a big house. It's locked. What is that? All right. Migraine medicine. I know. I know. I need stuff for migraines. Please, sir. Come and have a gander. I did take a gander. Um, hmm. Okay, that's where we need to go. Retrieve the necklace lost by Lawrence Fishburne. Or Seymour Fish, Fish, Fishburne. Seymour. Hide and seek. Come up with the grave diggers. So we did all their quests. So we still need to find Ichabod. Enid has a migraine. Okay, so we still need to find Ichabod. Because everybody else is recovering. So I want to cure everybody before we're done with this. We have to. Before this night is over, we have to cure everybody. As much as we can. Last time I saw Ichabod, he was like slumped in a corner. Where the hell is Ichabod at? There he is. What up? Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Do you need my medical aid? Actually, treating a vampire hunter's wounds is certainly a first for me. I'm happy to help you, of course. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Okay. Goodbye, and good hunt. Okay, so that, I believe, is everybody at the docks. Recovering, recovering, she's got a migraine, recovering, recovering. Sweet. All right, so we still need to find this guy. So let's go find that dude. He's over here way out at the docks. Let's go this way. What's this game about? You play a doctor named Jonathan Reed who has been turned into a vampire. And we're trying to cure our own affliction. We're trying to figure out why we're a vampire. Two, we're also trying to cure the epidemic that's going around and prevent it from killing others. And it seems like... The flu and vampirism are going hand in hand because people are randomly turning into vampires? I don't understand it. It's weird. It's still a good game. So, yeah, this guy's over here. Got a whistling morse. It's around here somewhere. Um. If we go maybe this way, will we be able to get to him? Or do we have to go next to Lottie? Because she's like level 30. Oh, you guys are down there. <sighs> Looks like maybe up here there's like a hideout I can go into. There, they're right there. I think right there. So, can I just teleport up there? <laughs> Please? Hmm. Okay. Looks like we'll have to go this way, I think. Unless this is the way in. No? No. Okay. Why did 
did you why did you decide to lock onto that guy way over there, huh? Game is so weird sometimes. There we go. There we go. Grab this. There we go. Let's try to find this guy. So Lottie's over here. She's level 30. I might be able to take her on. If I'm very careful, I, I should be able to kill her. There's one. Goodness. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I tried to heal. Oh. I tried to heal. It didn't work. All right. We'll be able to do this. We were able to take out two of those guys really quick. I think we'll be able to do it. Okay. So I'm back. Um, let's go in this way. Let's take on this guy. Your blood. Your blood. I'm just gonna eat you. There we go. Easy. Okay. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to kill her. I think we'll be able to kill her pretty easily. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Let's eat your blood. Dude, our bite is strong. You got a strong bite. All right. So we did pretty well last time. This time let's like do it on you. And then we'll do this one on you. Hold still. So I can do it again. Lottie. She doesn't deserve this. Let's hold you down. Hold you down. Gonna shoot her. I'm just gonna do it from a distance, cause you know I don't want to get up in that. I don't want to get up in that. There we go. Now we'll hit her. There you go, Lottie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lottie. We had to. You were a vampire. You could have caused more vampires. Oh. Poor Lottie. All right, so we still need to find this dude. I don't know how we get over there though, cause he's like right over here. I feel so bad for Lottie. She doesn't deserve it. The guy like down here, maybe? There he is. Your blood. There you go. Perfect. 
The struggle for that fight reminded me of the Noon Wraith fight last night. Oh, yeah. Just... I can see that. How do we get over there? Let's see. Let's read this again. No, it's not that. Is it this one? <sighs> so we're supposed to whistle for him, but how do we whistle for him if we can't get to him? There's like a whole area of West End that we can't get to. So maybe, um, maybe we just can't get to it yet. Okay, let's head back over to Whitechapel, but let's also hit this Red River one so that we can uh, get that started too. Unless he's down here. I don't know if he's down there. These guys are like level 16 and 17. We'll take care of it. They'll be able to handle it. It's cool. You guys are fine. Y'all are strong men. I'm just gonna pass on by. All right, start heading this way. Now let's, let's we'll hit we'll hit um we'll hit the hospital we'll cure pippa's cold and then we're gonna hit Whitechapel, and then we're gonna get into that quest i just want to make sure everybody's healthy before we go to sleep because that's like the most important thing right now to me if we can prevent people from becoming vampires that'd be great so the more condition like serious condition that the uh the area has the more vampire or people are just going to run internally to vampires which is awful because like that's what happened to dyson delaney he just like went missing and then he's just vampired was awful. Let's go this way. Look at it. Ow. Oh, Christ. There you go. I <laughs> got killed in one hit. Oh, I'm getting so strong. I love it. Getting so strong. These boys used to be a problem for me. Now they're not. Get you. Christ, he's dead. Eat you. Oh. Just kill everybody? I know. It's really bad. Just gonna kill people left and right. So all we have to do is just try to get back to the... Uh, all we're trying to do is get back to the uh, hospital. Dude. We killed two people in one hit. That dude's totally dead. <laughs> there you go. That one guy just exploded. Ah. Get all this good stuff. Alright. So we should be getting back to the hospital, right? Yeah, here's the hospital. Cool. So let's cure Pippa of her, of her uh, cold. And then we should be in a better position over here. Okay, I think if we just go this way. No, wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna go in here. No, that's the old mark. Um, how do I get to Pippa again? I'll just run around the entire area. Ah, here we go. Ha! We found it. Ooh, hello. It's locked, oh, all right. Crap. All right. So Pippa should be here somewhere. There she is. 